Hi friends, welcome to the Discover Agriculture YouTube channel. If you are not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe now. Lumpy skin disease is one of the most economically significant transboundary and emerging diseases of cattle. LSD causes considerable economic losses due to emaciation, damage to hides, infertility, and loss of milk production. Causative agent Lumpy skin disease is caused by the lumpy skin disease virus. The first description of the clinical signs of LSD was in 1929 in Zambia. According to the official, India saw the first case of LSD in the year 2019 in eastern states, especially West Bengal and Odisha. Transmission Lumpy skin disease is transmitted by blood feeding insects like mosquitoes, flies, lice, and wasps by direct contact, and also through contaminated food and water. The incubation period in experimentally infected animals varies between 4 and 7 days, but in naturally infected animals it may be up to 5 weeks. Clinical signs include Lacrimation and nasal discharge are usually observed first. Subscapular and prefemoral lymph nodes become enlarged and are easily palpable. High fever may persist for approximately a week. The sharp drop in milk yield. The appearance of highly characteristic, nodular skin lesions of 10 to 50 mm in diameter. The number of lesions varies from a few in mild cases to multiple lesions in severely infected animals. Predilection sites are the skin of the head, neck, perineum, genitalia, udder, and limbs. Deep nodules involve all layers of the skin, subcutaneous tissue, and sometimes even the underlying muscles. Skin nodules may persist for several months. Sometimes, painful ulcerative lesions develop in the cornea of one or both eyes, leading to blindness in the worst cases. Skin lesions in the legs and on top of the joints may lead to deep subcutaneous infections complicated by secondary bacterial infections and lameness. Preventive measures 1. Control of animal movement In order to minimize the economic impact of the outbreaks and to control LST, the movement of animals to and from the infected area and from affected states should be completely banned. This will check the transmission or spread of LST. 2. Restriction with affected animals and persons dealing with such animals the movement of people to the affected area should be restricted. The animal handlers and those attending to the affected animals should be advised to keep away from healthy animals. It is, therefore, of utmost importance to ensure these safety measures. 3. Control of vector population, like ticks, flies, mosquitoes, fleas, midges. In the premises and the animal, the body should be carried out using insecticide, repellents, and other chemical agents. Currently, India is administering the goat pox vaccine for LST. India has also developed an indigenous vaccine lumpy provisant for the lumpy disease. Treatment methods As such, there is no treatment available for the disease. The treatment is done on a symptom basis. However, Secondary bacterial infections can be avoided by the use of antibiotics and supportive care. The anti-inflammatory drug is also given to reduce pain and to increase the appetite of the cattle. Can the viral outbreak jump to humans? There is no evidence to support humans can be infected by lumpy skin disease. Hope you like this video. Share this video with all your friends and don't forget to subscribe Discover Agriculture YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.